about three minutes each. Yeah, thanks, Ken. And uh, just uh, three brief questions, Tanishta. Uh, last February 20, uh, I think, uh, like many others, I was shocked to read uh, the journalist David Labanyu's piece in the Irish Times, which first revealed uh, the problem in relation to maths uh, testing. I put down five parliamentary questions to you then, asking you, uh, 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 by county, uh, the number of maths checkpoints carried out uh, between 2009 and 2015, and the number of disposable uh, mouthpieces being ordered by Ingard Shikhan in that period. Now, in the composite answer you gave me, I think on the 28th of February, you didn't actually answer those questions, but you did state, and you said, um, and I quote, the Guard authorities have also assured me that no issues stem from this audit with regard to the performance of math checkpoints or prosecutions emanating therefrom. Now, didn't you mislead me? Uh, Minister and indeed Dáil Éireann, and, and, and isn't it uh, you know, a fact that right now you should be considering your own position? Uh, we've been talking a lot about the Garda Commissioner. Uh, secondly, just to ask you very briefly, the Garda website says that, and I quote, that no single reason accounts for the huge discrepancy uh, you know, of a million uh, tests that didn't take place. Uh, we're told about specific counter re readings and that there was no central recording process for the 1,200 devices. But again, I mean, what are some of the reasons? What, what are the reasons? What have you found out? As Minister. And just lastly, Minister, I mean, this is a, the, one of a series of, of uh, cock ups and mal maladministration in the implementation of road traffic law. Uh, you, you failed to pass, for example, the Courts No. 2 bill or to bring it forward in relation to fixed uh, uh, no notice charges. Uh, you, you, uh, we know that between f nearly 40 per cent and 85 per cent of road traffic speeding summonses are not being served, weren't served in 2015 2016. Uh, the, the wording of Section 22 2002 Act summonses on the prosecution of licence in court hasn't been fixed. I could go on and on all night in relation to traffic law, uh, things that you haven't done. So isn't it time, Minister, you considered your position? Well, Deputy, what I would uh, remind you of is the whole series of reforms uh, which I have initiated uh, since I uh, became uh, Minister for Justice and the range of legislation that I have enacted. And I said at the very beginning, uh, when I became uh, Minister for Justice, that radical reform uh, was needed in the justice area and was needed in relation to policing. And that's what I have been about. So I have been intent on ensuring uh, that there was greater transparency, that there were more objective mechanisms. People continually talk here about taking politics uh, out of policing. That's what I have attempted to do by ensuring that we had a robust body in the police authority. And I believe that it's important that we allow that body uh, to do its work. Um, in relation to your parliamentary question, I did not mislead you or mislead the House. I gave the information which was uh, available to me uh, at that time. And I did say that in the original letter in June 16, uh, that no uh, convictions where somebody was above the alcohol level had been impacted by what happened. Clearly, uh, the situation that arisen uh, was one uh, where uh, people uh, were either saying they had done um, uh, tests that they hadn't, uh, were incorrectly uh, putting them through. Um, the question arises uh, in relation to supervision. Um, it, uh, questions arise in relation to training. And also uh, questions uh, arise as to, uh, it was stated, one of the reasons was stated this might have happened was that people, because of the demands on them, did not input the figures immediately after they had Thank done uh, a checkpoint.